Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the optional bug fix C release update that Microsoft rolled out for Windows 11 24H2 at the end of last month, August, which is KB5064081, Microsoft started rolling out with the update a new feature where there is now a larger clock with seconds in the notification center which is displayed above the date and calendar. Now Microsoft started pushing the feature out using a controlled rollout. And just to let you know that if we head to my notification center, I finally have received the larger clock with seconds, which I actually quite enjoy. And this is something that Microsoft, as I've been talking about, pulled when they rolled out Windows 11. And due to user feedback, they have now reintroduced it. So it kind of makes me think, why did they pull it in the first place? And we have spoken about that previously. So I noticed this today. And this wasn't there yesterday and was yet today. So it looks like that has now been enabled on my machine after installing recent updates. So very happy to see that. Now this next feature is actually a feature that Microsoft is testing in the release preview channel. As part of our 25H2 annual update that's going to be rolling out towards the beginning of next month. I'll leave the video for um, the update in release preview. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen because there's quite a lot going on. Now just to let you know that as I've been talking about, Microsoft is moving more time in language and keyboard settings from the control panel to the new modern user interface and settings menu. And I'll actually leave a video I posted on that yesterday. I'll leave that linked as well if you'd like some more information. And this is Microsoft's continued migration of control panel features over to the new settings. Where I have noticed that I can now add additional clocks and change my time server and customize date and time formatting. Including AM and PM symbols directly from settings, time and language, date and time. And just on a quick side note, getting back to the clock with seconds in the notification center, this is where you can turn that on and off, show time in notification center. So with that off, you can see it's been removed, that's how it was previously. Toggle that on, and there we go. And this was actually off by default. So you might have to come check it to get that in your notification center. Now getting back to the keyboard settings that have moved from control panel. Now first of all, now all of these settings we're going to have a look at now are being migrated from control panel to the new settings. And they are still available in control panel, so we've got basically duplicates, and this is just Microsoft's ongoing process of migrating those over. And the first one we're going to have a look at is you can now add additional clocks. So if we click on show time and date in system tray, you can now add additional clock one, additional clock two. So if you click on that, you can see I've already added a time zone and just put in a display name for that region and area. You can change. And if we head back to my notification center, there we go. And this is something I've already done in control panel. So as mentioned, there are duplicates. Now, although I do enjoy the control panel, I think that if Microsoft is eventually going to do away with control panel, then having these in the actual time and date settings, I think, is a nice move. So that's the first. You can change your time server. Here we go. If you click on this, sync now. You can change your time server. So you can just pop in the server address if you want to. That's the default. That's to sync your, your clock and your time. And the next one that's rolled out is you can now customize date and time formatting, including AM and PM symbols. So for this, we'd head to change the date and time format. And yeah, you can see you can change your AM PM symbol. There we go. And if we head to time and language, language and region, yeah, you will see new options to copy language and region settings to other accounts. 
So the first one is copy current user settings to welcome screen and system accounts. Copy current user settings to new user accounts. So all these changes that are rolling out for the time and language that we've just had a look at are actually supposed to be rolling out with 25H2. So I've received those early. Go check it out. Just making you guys aware in case you hadn't spotted that yet. So I thought that was interesting and nice to see now that I finally received the larger clock with seconds, which I actually quite enjoy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.